Scotland, Glasgow, let's fucking go! I just want to point out that we, we, we usually don't come through, you know, the peasantry the way that we did tonight. Uh, we thought, hey, this would be a nice change of pace, sort of a WWF wrestling thing. And I was like, we were walking another giant fucking spill in the middle of the aisle there. <laughs> so I know how tonight is going. We will all be glassed by this time an hour from now. No, it's glass or be glassed, and I know what side of the glass I'm going to end up on. I've been studying glass, Kata. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> Glasgow, uh, it's great to be here. I want to let you know that I have heard your feedback. I realize I have been saying glass cow uh, and all of the <laughs> promotional things leading up to it tonight, but it's okay. I want to let you know I've learned some local slang, and I'm going to get you back uh, on my side here. Um, it's uh, it's Hochin tonight. This joint <laughs> is Hochin. It's Hochin with Fan Dan. <laughs> And it's uh, Ho Chi Minh tonight. Yes, yeah, it's, it's, it's Ho Chi Minh tonight. Everything is Wang Chung tonight. <laughs> so someone told me, uh, you know, it's Ho Chin in this play. It means it's like it's, it's lit. And then I was like, oh, uh, with Fan Dan's. I was like, yeah, with all of our fans named Dan. Yeah. And then it, and then it was explained to me that Fan Dan uh, means minge, which of course means fanny, which of course means pussy. And uh, knowing our audience is uh, false. Absolutely <laughs> not true tonight. But uh, Glasgow... Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to be here with you tonight. Our second show on our Euro our first ever European tour. And our second show in the Eurozone. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, as long as we're like, you know, getting, realizing our mistakes and, you know, in the age of bodies and spaces, <laughs> um, you guys are not a part of Ireland. <laughs> I, I'll admit, I thought that until today, but... Uh, <laughs> No, you uh, know, my, my bad. Uh, it's great to be here, though, although I will say it is a little intimidating. Our last show was in Berlin. Now we're in here with you guys tonight. And I, got, I was worried about doing our first two shows in Europe in non-English speaking countries. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. it's, it's crazy because, you know, we're in England and they don't speak English here. Yeah, it's very weird. It's awesome. I mean, no. What, this is, this is, this is Northern England, oh, it's, right? It's, <laughs> it's gonna get worse, strap in. This, uh, this is England Junior. Uh, <laughs> Take it up with the act of union, okay? Yeah, we're, we're, we're in the North, mate. We love it up here. We've, you know, gone down from Berlin, like this, you know, gigantic, uh, amazing metropolitan... Cosmo this is the funky beats. Cosmopolis, full of funky beats and kind of, you know, stern, goofy people. And now we're here in Scotland, and I feel like we are on the sort of the dungeon map of this part of our tour, <laughs> of our quest. Al, Al Jazeera calls this whole city a no-go zone. <laughs> So yeah, we're uh, yeah we're on the, uh, the dungeon level of this part of our quest, and walking down the street just sort of feels like Doom Two. It's just being approached right. by you know orcs and crones and things like that. We, we went through the um, to the uh, the posh part of Glasgow the other day, just broken glass everywhere. Well, speaking of broken glass, let's um let's sample this local favorite here. Who's, who's got the bottle? Who got okay, yeah. Here we go. This is... All right, now we're talking. Yeah. We've, we've heard many a tale of uh, this Buckfast, which, is, as it explained to me, is basically like if Four loco were brewed by monks. Uh, well, it's, it's actually a pretty cool story. After he left G-Unit, Young Buck started it. <laughs> and apparently, th this, is the, this is the juice here. This is the fuel for probably 95% of all the violent crime in Scotland. So, so we're going to drink it all night. As, as Will said, we did make an American version of this, which is Fort Loco. And they introduced it. It's like, hey, it's caffeinated, high ABV alcohol. Let's all have fun. And it was like, yeah, this is immediately illegal. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is like... Well, we banned that shit in like a month. All it, they this get is like away a... with it because they're fucking months. If it was just some like angry guy named Angus making it, they'd be like, you can't do that. That's not allowed. <laughs> it's... And th it's like a true testament to what a just dog shit country America is. Because all it took was like one high schooler falling out of a window to have every single can of Four loco just vanish from the shelves in our continent-sized country. Thank you, Chuck Schumer. <laughs> Where, incidentally, you can now buy an Uzi at a vending machine in Walmart. <laughs> so, cheers. Let's, uh, let me have a sip of this. Let me try this. 
a little taste test yeah. here. It's very sweet. It's <laughs> really, and I heard someone in the front row goes, he's drinking it out of a glass? <laughs> I wanted to well, drink it. I, I yeah, wanted... Well, that's the king of England over here. The thing is, we knew that if we all brought our own bottle, we'd get in a fight with you by the end of the night. So we're going to split it yeah, out. Yeah, we have to parcel it out in yeah. small doses. Because there's going to be two acts to this thing, and we got to make it. Yeah. This is, uh, yeah, it's like... It's like cough medicine, but yeah, yeah this is what oh, I think. Also, but, also but, not but very wait good. Wait for it, but wait for it. This is what I think a flaming mo tastes like. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, we are. Uh, it, it's an honor and a privilege to be here um, in 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 Europe in um, in England Junior, as I said. Um, I'll get you back on my side, promise me. We're, but we are here to basically to solve all the problems. So um, yeah, let's um, let's see if we can um, just evenly divide the audience here. Maybe start a fight. Let's just do a straw poll right now. Scottish independence, yes. Okay, Scottish independence, no. <laughs> Throw them out. Attack! 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 <laughs> how about how about this? Scottish independence from partisan bickering. <laughs> Let's no, go, dude. But we figured it out. We figured out the grand bargain. A Scotland, Scotland leaves the, the United Kingdom and then becomes an independent country uniting with Catalonia. <laughs> <laughs> Two continents, one country. Yes. <laughs> Everybody wins. It's like the United and Arab Republic. And I feel Republic. like you guys would get along swimmingly. The cultures are so similar. Also, uh, EU, the Euro, whatever... Too many fucking coins, okay? Can we get rid of them? It's weighing my pants down. I like it. They're falling off comic in a comic fashion yeah. in public. Everyone's laughing at me. Everyone's them. laughing at me. I like it because if you beat somebody in a glass bottle fight, it's like winning a fight in Sonic. <laughs> <laughs> you got some better money, you fucking assholes. <laughs> Again, so, I think it's nice that you put your mom on it. <laughs> <laughs> so one of the things uh, uh, I wanted to do to uh, you know prepare for tonight's show was sort of familiarize myself with uh, some of the local culture and like news stories, things that are going on, and uh, I decided to check out a bunch of uh, like local Scottish newspapers. A lot of sheep theft. Yeah, I was. We, that's the first 10 pages of the paper. You know, because I always like to go to the letters to the editor section. You can find a lot of uh, gold there. You can understand a lot about people from the letters. I looked at those. They were, those are mostly pretty boring. They're mostly just like thank thanking someone for bringing a banner to like a youth uh, football match or something like that. <laughs> However, when I checked the, the crime blotter, holy shit. I, like, I, I know it's the tabloid press. It's sensationalized. <laughs> But I wish someone had warned us that we were going to the most violent city on earth. <laughs> Look, you can make fun of them and say that it's bad that they do that that much, but when knife crime becomes an Olympic event, <laughs> Scotland will clean up. <laughs> so like, I'm just like, just a couple of these headlines here uh, I was instantly enamored with. Uh, for thug find after Fanta attack on girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Dad poured two-liter bottle of juice over woman in front of two kids. Wait a minute. She just sat there while they dumped two liters of Fanta on her? Like, I, I swear to God, like... Yeah, no, pour one liter of Fanta on me, shame on you. Exactly. <laughs> so just, uh, just going through the, uh, the, the stabbings vertical here, we just have... Um, <laughs> Stabbing incident in Shawlands. Yay! Yay. Woo. Hey, that was me! I did that one! <laughs> That's great! <laughs> but I'm right between the ribs! Okay, like, and this one was the absolute king. I could not fucking believe I was reading this. Headline, bigot abuse thief jailed after trying to feed pizza, supper, and booze to police dog. <laughs> well, well, hold on a minute. Was the pizza fried? Is, who's the, is he a bigot against police dogs? <laughs> is that his job? Wait, wait. He's, no, he's that's, racist against police dogs? No, no, no. What that's just his job. Dog? He's a, yeah, the bigotry factory. Yeah. I, I, I think I figured out the difference between the two places we went. 
Germany is like if like very sheltered children were given sophisticated understanding of engineering and finance. <laughs> and this country is like if like terrifying toddlers were given the combat abilities of adults. <laughs> <laughs> Please don't stab us after the show. (laughs) In the interest of equal time and showing both sides, they should print the blotter and also print messages from the defendants explaining their side of the story. Yeah. What, the dog? I, yeah. <laughs> no, the guy with the dog, no. the one uh, guy pouring the two-liter Fanta. He probably had a reason. I... Uh, George Higgins, thief jailed after trying to feed pizza supper to police dog. That's, the, that's not okay. thievery. <laughs> He's giving the dog food. Well, okay, if the dog is... Where a, did the, he get the pizza, though? Okay, see, that's different, but I need to know more. It only raises more questions, I agree. It's like that Mitch Hedberg joke. It's free if it's for a police dog. <laughs> <laughs> a thief who tried to feed a police dog a pizza supper and lager after it caught him after it <laughs> caught him. What? <laughs> what? Doing what? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> it, this only raises more questions. So, like, the dog chased him down and is, like, gnawing on his groin. And he's like, hey, now I have some pizza. <laughs> so he goes here, uh, caught him, has been jailed for more than two years. George Higgins, 39, admitted last month to assaulting and robbing Christopher Fletcher after tailing him from a shop in Glasgow's uh, Cardinal in December 2018. I don't correct my pronunciation. Come on, I don't. I don't. I'm, I'm it was a correct. Be able it was correct. To say it. it was a correct pronunciation. Uh, Higgins had earlier been turned away from the store as he had no money. Mr. Fletcher, 51, had with him pizza and chips, as well alcohol and cigarettes that he had just bought. So like, yeah, like the Scottish like breakfast. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's a sick loadout. Oh, right there. nice, fi- <laughs> nice five course meal, Mr. Fancy. <laughs> Prosecutor Jennifer Harkins told Glasgow Sheriff Court Higgins put his arms around his neck, dragged him to the ground, and made off with his bags. Okay, so that's the thievery. All right, we got that one. He stole the pizza. Okay, good. (laughs) Police then searched the area with the dog. Higgins was tracked hiding in a garden trying to feed the pizza and two cans of tenant's lager to the dog. Okay, okay, so it was it was it was conspiracy to bribe a police officer. Yes, that, that yes, is his crime. It's bribery. How yeah. hard do you have to try to give a dog pizza? <laughs> There's not a lot, you know, a lot of salesmanship. I don't know if you had the pizza in Scotland. Ah, that's a good point. Well done. Well, very good. Well, point. it says here, Bigot Higgins went on to hurl abuse at police. That's Mi- just his first name. <laughs> <laughs> Char- charming language you have here. It's a family name. <laughs> My father was a bigot, his father before him. Hey, he founded the first racism factory in all of Scotland. <laughs> uh, bigot Higgins went on to hurl abuse at police. Miss Harkins said he made remarks of dirty fucking bastard, fuck the Pope and the IRA. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he's an orangeman, God bless him. It, uh, it's so cool to be getting arrested by <laughs> Scottish cops and you're like, I, uh, there's some other people that need addressing. <laughs> he, goes, uh, he said, fuck the Pope and the IRA, as well as shove your cross up your ass. What was he, fucking Linda uh, Blair in The Exorcist? <laughs> fucking Ian Paisley over here. 